You may have heard countless times about this famous figure. Her name is Cleopatra. Let's take a deep dive into significant fractions of her life you didn't know. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. These are interesting and disturbing facts about Cleopatra you didn't know. 1. Cleopatra was not Egyptian. While Cleopatra was born in Egypt, she traced her family origins to Macedonian Greece and Ptolemy I. Soter, one of Alexander the Great's generals. Ptolemy reigned Egypt after Alexander's death in 323 B.C., and he launched a dynasty of Greek-speaking rulers that lasted for nearly three centuries. Despite not being ethnically Egyptian, Cleopatra embraced many of her country's ancient customs and was the first member of the Ptolemaic line to learn the Egyptian language. 2. She was the product of incest. Like many royal houses, members of the Ptolemaic dynasty often married within the family to preserve the purity of their bloodline. More than a dozen of Cleopatra's ancestors tied the knot with cousins or siblings, and it's likely that her own parents were brother and sister. In keeping with this custom, Cleopatra eventually married both of her adolescent brothers, each of whom served as her ceremonial spouse and co-regent at different times during her reign. 3. Cleopatra's beauty wasn't her biggest asset. Roman propaganda painted Cleopatra as a debauched temptress who used her sex appeal as a political weapon, but she may have been more renowned for her intellect than her appearance. She spoke as many as a dozen languages and was educated in mathematics, philosophy, oratory, and astronomy, and Egyptian sources later described her as a ruler who elevated the ranks of scholars and enjoyed their company. There's also evidence that Cleopatra wasn't as physically striking as once believed. Coins with her portrait show her with manly features and a large, hooked nose, though some historians contend that she intentionally portrayed herself as masculine as a display of strength. For his part, the ancient writer Plutarch claimed that Cleopatra's beauty was not altogether incomparable and that it was instead her mellifluous speaking voice and irresistible charm that made her so desirable. 4. She had a hand in the deaths of three of her siblings. Power grabs and murder plots were as much a Ptolemaic tradition as family marriage, and Cleopatra and her brothers and sisters were no different. Her first sibling husband, Ptolemy XIII, ran her out of Egypt after she tried to take sole possession of the throne, and the pair later faced off in a civil war. Cleopatra regained the upper hand by teaming with Julius Caesar, and Ptolemy drowned in the Nile River after being defeated in battle. Following the war, Cleopatra remarried to her younger brother Ptolemy XIV, but she is believed to have had him murdered in a bid to make her son her co-ruler. In 41 BC, she also engineered the execution of her sister, Arsino, who she considered a rival to the throne. 5. Cleopatra knew how to make an entrance. Cleopatra believed herself to be a living goddess, and she often used clever stagecraft to woo potential allies and reinforce her divine status. A famous example of her flair for the dramatic came in 48 BC, when Julius Caesar arrived in Alexandria during her feud with her brother Ptolemy XIII. Knowing Ptolemy's forces would thwart her attempts to meet with the Roman general, Cleopatra had herself wrapped in a carpet some sources say it was a linen sack and smuggled into his personal quarters. Caesar was dazzled by the sight of the young queen in her royal garb, and the two soon became allies and lovers. 
Cleopatra later employed a similar bit of theater in her 41 BC encounter with Mark Antony. When summoned to meet the Roman triumvir in Tarsus, she is said to have arrived on a golden barge adorned with purple sails and rowed by oars made of silver. Cleopatra had been made up to look like the goddess Aphrodite, and she sat beneath a gilded canopy while attendants dressed as cupids fanned her and burned sweet-smelling incense. Antony, who considered himself the embodiment of the Greek god Dionysus, was instantly enchanted. 6. She was living in Rome at the time of Caesar's assassination. Cleopatra joined Julius Caesar in Rome beginning in 46 BC, and her presence seems to have caused quite a stir. Caesar didn't hide that she was his mistress she even came to the city with their love child Caesarion and many Romans were scandalized when he erected a gilded statue of her in the temple of Venus Genetrix. Cleopatra was forced to flee Rome after Caesar was stabbed to death in the Roman Senate in 44 BC, but by then she had made her mark on the city. Her exotic hairstyle and pearl jewelry became a fashion trend, and according to the historian Joanne Fletcher, so many Roman women adopted the Cleopatra look that their statuary has often been mistaken for Cleopatra herself. 7. Cleopatra and Mark Antony formed their own drinking club. Cleopatra first began her legendary love affair with the Roman general Mark Antony in 41 BC. Their relationship had a political component. Cleopatra needed Antony to protect her crown and maintain Egypt's independence, while Antony needed access to Egypt's riches and resource, but they were also famously fond of each other's company. According to ancient sources, they spent the winter of 41 to 40 BC, living a life of leisure and excess in Egypt, and even formed their own drinking society known as the Inimitable Livers. The group engaged in nightly feasts and wine binges, and its members occasionally took part in elaborate games and contests. One of Antony and Cleopatra's favorite activities supposedly involved wandering the streets of Alexandria in disguise and playing pranks on its residents. 8. She led a fleet in a naval battle. Cleopatra eventually married Mark Antony and had three children with him, but their relationship also spawned a massive scandal in Rome. Antony's rival Octavian used propaganda to portray him as a traitor under the sway of a scheming seductress, and in 32 BC, the Roman Senate declared war on Cleopatra. The conflict reached its climax the following year in a famous naval battle at Actium. Cleopatra personally led several dozen Egyptian warships into the fray alongside Antony's fleet but they were no match for Octavian's navy. The battle soon devolved into a rout, and Cleopatra and Antony were forced to break through the Roman line and flee to Egypt. 9. The death of Cleopatra Cleopatra and Antony famously took their own lives in 30 B. C. after Octavian's forces pursued them to Alexandria. While Antony is said to have fatally stabbed himself in the stomach, Cleopatra's method of suicide is less certain. Legend has it that she died by enticing an ASP most likely a viper or letting an Egyptian cobra to bite her arm, but the ancient chronicler Plutarch admits that what really took place is known to no one. He says Cleopatra was also known to conceal a deadly poison in one of her hair combs and the historian Strabo notes that she may have applied a fatal ointment. With this in mind, many scholars now suspect she used a pin dipped in some form of potent toxin snake venom or otherwise. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.